we performed the chi-square test using Excel here. So imagine we have a coin and we and we toss it a hundred times, getting fifty heads and fifty tails. Below we write down what the expected figures are. So if the coin is fair, then we should get 50 heads and 50 tails. So once we have that, we just use the chi-square test. So we just say equals chi test b2 colon b3 comma b6 colon b7. We could also do this using the menu here. So we just go more functions, statistical, chi test. Then we highlight the actual range. So that's there. And then we highlight the expected range. And once we have that, we just click OK and we're done. We're not going to use that anymore because because we have it here. So what does that mean? Well basically if this value is greater than 0 0.05 then we're okay. Then we can say that this is a fair coin. Now if we got 50 heads and 50 tails, we wouldn't suspect that there's anything wrong. But say we had 45 heads and 55 tails. Is that acceptable? Does that kind of thing happen? We don't expect to always get heads and always get tails. I mean, if we toss a coin 10 times, we don't expect to get five heads and five tails all the time. What the chi-square test lets us do is check to see whether what we got matched with what we expect to get. So if we toss a coin, we'd expect to get 50 heads and tails, but we know there's going to be random variations. So say we had 55 tails, Then we get chi squared is equal to 0 0.3173. Now this isn't the uh, direct chi squared. This actually takes into account the dimension. So you know if you had two different rows of data for actual and two rows for expected, we could have selected those you know four items as our actual and four items as as our expected excel takes care of it all all we need to be aware of is is this number bigger than 0 0.05 so the natural thing to do is go well that's all well and good but does it always say it's okay well, let's put in a, a crazy number. Imagine we toss the coin and we got one heads and 99 tails. Then I'd find it hard to accept that this is a fair coin. So what does our chi-square test say? 1.1 1 .1 times 10 to the minus 22, which is far less than 0 0.05. So therefore, chi squared would say there's something, this is not, I don't accept that this is a fair coin. I'll just check that again because I think, yeah. So with 45 and 55, I had 0 0.31. So that's fine. How far 
before Chai gets sceptical. 35, 65. That's kind of pushing it. Yep. That's less than 0 0.05. So we'd reject that. So that's how we can use Excel to do the chi-square test. We just put in our data that goes in as our actual data. We also put in what we'd expect it to be, plug it in, and we're done.